This is uh, one of my dioramas. I believe it's my second one. And some things about it that are pretty cool is it's uh, most dioramas are like 150th scale. This one's actually uh, 132nd and 134th. And uh, like that skid loader right there with the custom backhoe attachment. That's 132nd, and then most of the trucks and pickups, like this utility truck, the low boy over there, and that Mack dump truck, those are all 134th, and the excavator and the bulldozer, those are 132nd scale also, along with that smaller excavator. Then that Cabelco backo is actually 135th. Over here, these squarish looking platforms, they're actually soon to be foundations of a house. I'm going to put uh, like pieces of modeling wood along here with crazy glue, cut windows and doors, maybe like roof, put framings down. Over here I got a, uh, like a utility company digging a plumbing or electrical line to go to the house. And uh, construction net right here is actually made out of a uh, the net you get on boxes of uh, tangerines. You cut it down to size, put some uh, wooden dowels in it. And then the arrow sign is pretty much the same thing, just with orange paper drawn with an arrow on it. And the road is actually the same thing as the dirt right here, which is really soft as you can see. But the road is actually uh, really hard. Like I, all I did to make the road was basically just compact down the dirt a lot and then spray paint it black, and it turned to work out pretty good. And then uh, the low boy over there has custom-made tire chains. I made those out of a uh, piece like an old necklace that didn't fit anymore and uh, really thin wire. And I'll, you can't really see him that good. I'll go around to the other side in a few minutes. Let's see a uh, container off a Mac granite roll off. Over there is a bulldozer just plowing dirt up uh, in front of the sign, just to hold it up. And Ford F, I believe it's a 350 or 250 pickup truck. It was originally Massachusetts Turnpike Authority, but I just sanded off the decals and just put custom ones on, just with uh, paper and scotch tape. It's custom weathered um, to represent mud. So is the dump truck, a little bit of the excavator, and the low boy. And over there's the tree trimming truck. Well that's pretty much it. There's the international utility truck. And over there I got my Oshkosh front discharge cement mixer. And I actually have custom forks that go on the backhoe. I currently have them off. They uh a really I take a really thin piece of wire and put it through a re uh, really little hole right there and I just put the wire through those holes and the uh, holes in these forks and it works pretty good it hold like wood and stuff and they fold back but that's pretty much it so